This is the uh, 45th anniversary of the Biennale, which started in 1973, and we have 69 artists across the seven venues. We're certainly proud to be part in collaboration with Biennale and the organisers as well. The technology we bring together with the creative talents of Biennale is something we're very proud of and want to continue with. With landscape with an eye, uh, we installed it at the powerhouse at Cockatoo Island in an amazing uh, building itself. And the artists really wanted to make it look like the eyeball was floating in space. The challenges we had was projecting onto a 2.5 meter dome sphere. And then for this curved surface, we had to use a fisheye lens, which was the first time it's been used in Australia. It's been instrumental to have high quality technology to execute some of the new commission works and then also existing works because artists always like to find the best way to present their ideas and concepts. So they're always looking for new technology and new method of implementing their concept. For semiconductors earthwork, uh, it's a zigzag wall. And being uh, in carriage works, the, the floors are not very straight. The guys had to make it a level wall each time. And because the edges are perfectly placed with each projector, they have to have everything plumb and, and correct and to get that level of detail is quite tricky. But using these projectors, they're, they're quite flexible in getting seamless projection for the viewer and hopefully the viewer doesn't see any of that hard work we put behind it and just get immersed in the work. It's certainly great to have this wonderful technology, but the best technology is technology, you don't know it's there. So really it's to showcase the artistic talents of the artist but more importantly, the experience for the art lovers. And there are many thousands that are coming through these installations to actually get that experience. I think the works in this Biennale I particularly selected has uh, strengths in artistic approach and uh, concept building, as well as use of these high technologies. So uh, I think it's a brilliant equilibrium of artistic approach and uh, technology itself.